Namaste. Welcome this morning uh, back to Juicy Mountain. Excuse me. Uh, this morning I'd like to take you through a little series of twists and pivots and things like that. We call it Corgetti Junction. Begin by sitting across onto your left outer hip, like so, and taking your right heel outside the left knee. Heel touching the right heel touching your left knee and now from there take your hands behind and just feel shimmy your left foot wide let your right sit bone sink down a bit lift the heart drop the shoulders into the hands and just feel that tilt of the pelvis and how your spine lengthens and aligns rest here lovely if you find that your right sit bone is way up off the ground you can stretch this left leg long and maintain that position through the practice okay let's move on Right hand directly behind the spine, left hand onto right knee. Lift the heart, squaring the right shoulder towards the front of your mat. Steady here, breathe here, relax here. Wonderful, and now we're just warming up. Wrap that left arm around your right thigh, lift the heart, stretch across your tummy, pivot ribs, chest, chin, shoulder, and finally chin over your right shoulder. We're already warming up. Inhale, back to center, lifting the left arm high, reach up as you exhale, left arm coming down, cross the front of the body, left arm outside your right thigh, lift the heart, and then stretch across your tummy, pivot the ribs, chest, shoulder, chin, right hand walking further on behind you. Let's rest here for a moment. Slowly come around, facing forward. Wonderful. Let's change over now to sitting on your outer right hip. Take the left heel outside the right knee. Both hands behind. Drop the shoulders into the hands, the fingertips lightly. Lift the heart, feel the tilt of the pelvis and rest there. Feel for the length of the spine. You are growing taller. Tuck the chin in. Now left hand directly behind the spine. Right hand, left knee. Lift the heart. Squaring that left shoulder to the front of the mat. Sitting tall. Soften the facial muscles. It's a lovely yoga practice to do so. Now still warming, wrapping. Right arm around your left thigh. Lift the heart. Stretch across your tummy, pivot ribs, chest, shoulder. Finally, chin moves over your left shoulder. Just warming up. Inhale, slowly back to center. Right arm towards the sky. Reach up. Exhale, down across the front of the body. Right arm outside your left thigh. Lift the heart. Now walking your left hand further behind, come as deep into the posture as you can. Stretch across the tummy, pivot ribs, chest, shoulder, finally chin over your left shoulder. And then rest here for a certain number of breaths, maybe seven or eight. Slowly coming around, facing forward. Wonderful, let's rest out of that for a moment. Feet together, knees together. Tuck, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. And rest here. Inhale, lift up. You can rest for longer if you wish and pause the video. Moving on. Take your right foot outside the left hip. 
and now right left heel outside the right knee hands behind like before shimmy that right foot wide allow your sit bones to sink here you may want to use a block to sit on if you know your hips are very tight do so Now taking right hand onto left foot, sweeping that left foot back. Hands behind, lift up. You may be on the block, you may be on the floor, whatever. Hands behind. Steady in the posture. Now sweeping your right arm out in front of the body and off in the opposite direction towards the left. Left arm underneath, bend both elbows, backs of the hands together, that might be full practice for you. Do your left fingers want to take your right thumb? Keep that right palm of the hand facing open towards the left. Maybe palms of the hands together, whichever. Inhale, lift up, exhale, down. Bring your elbows back to shoulder level and reach forward, lengthen out, turn towards your right, back to centre, turn towards your left, back to centre and release. Now left knee is high, let's reach the left elbow towards the sky. Right hand, left elbow. This may be enough. You may want to take your right hand to the ground, supporting you and lifting your heart nice and tall. Possibly reaching fingers towards each other. A belt can bring the hands together there. Or you might, your fingers might come together. If both hands are behind your back, turn chin over your right shoulder. Breathe here. Inhale, face forward as you exhale, left arm up, forward, down as the left hand passes the left hip, release the right arm wide, across the front of the body, right arm outside your left thigh, left arm up and back behind the body, chin left thumb, lift the heart, steady here. Now bending that left elbow, take your left arm behind your back, move deeper into the twist of your torso, but now turn chin back over the right shoulder and rest here just for a moment. Steady body, steady mind, wonderful. And release. And now lifting that left knee high, Draw it in, hug it in as close as you can to the body, as close as you can, and then gently rocking back loosely forward. Hug it as close as you can. Feel that stretch in the outer left hip. Lovely. And release forward. You might want to draw that left foot back a bit. Left knee is high, right hand, left hand. Relax the shoulders, soften the arms, lift the heart. Feel the integrity of the spine. Rest here. 
might choose to stay sitting tall. If you want to watch deeper stretch of the hips, take both hands onto your lower knee. That is your right knee. And exhale, folding forward. Lower back, mid back, upper back, forward is heavy. Melt inward and down. Inhale, lift up. Ooh la la. And let's rest for a moment by bringing the soles of the feet together. Hands behind, drop the shoulders. <clears throat> Forget the legs. Imagine the legs are not there whatsoever. Lift the heart. And again, moving on. This time we're going to sit on the outer left hip. So take your left foot outside the right hip. Again, you might want to use the block here for this. As in sitting on the block. If it's not necessary, um, don't do so. Right heel outside the left knee. Left hand, right foot. Sweeping that right foot back as far as it will and shimmy your hips in there between your heels lovely let's take hands behind and lift the heart shimmy the left foot wide so the right sit bone can sink down lovely wonderful now Garudasana variation we've done it on the other side Left leg is lower, take your left arm across the body, right arm under, back to the hands towards each other. Do your right fingers want to take your left thumb or palms together, whichever position. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release the elbows down low. Inhale, lift the elbows back. Just below or at shoulder level, turn towards your left and reaching actually reaching out first reach out lengthen out from the shoulder blades turn towards the left lift the heart back to center turn towards the right and center release the arms right knee is high we lift the right elbow high towards the sky, left hand, right elbow. Maybe this is enough for you. Be strong here. Left hand coming behind the back. Maybe it's going to support you on the ground. If you find your slouch forward, use that hand on the ground to sit tall. Left hand reaching for the right. Right elbow towards the sky. If both arms are behind your back, turn chin over your left shoulder and breathe here. Inhale to face forward. As you exhale, release that right arm up, forward, down. As the right hand passes the right hip, release your left arm wide, cross the front of the body, left arm outside your right thigh. Reach the right arm up and back behind you, chin towards that right shoulder. Now bending the right arm, elbow, take the right arm behind you, keep turning your torso towards your right, but turn chin back over the left shoulder. Steady here. Lovely. Now tucking that right foot in, Lift 
the right leg and hugging it in as close as possible to the body. If it's something you really love, hug it in really, really close. And then gently rocking back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Gently so. Deep stretch of the outer left hip now. Right hip, excuse me. And release. <clears throat> right knee is high, left hand, right hand. Lift the heart, open the chest, relax the shoulders, feel the integrity of the spine. If you find you commit, you slouch forward here, just take your hands behind. Support yourself in gently lifting the heart. If you wish to have a deeper stretch, you can take both hands onto your left knee and exhale, folding forward. You may or may not want to do this. Elbows coming down to the ground. Simultaneously. Inhale, slowly come up and release. Well done. Again, let's bring the soles of the feet together, maybe feet further away now. Uh, you can, and you can take your hands, actually let's finish it with a bit of um, sweeping the forearms inside your thighs and then hands and forearms coming outside your lower legs. Hands onto your feet, like so. Let's inhale, lift up. Lift the heart, tuck in the chin. Steady here for a moment, breathe here. With your next exhalation, Folding forward through the lower back, mid back, upper back, forward is heavy. Let the body go. Inhale, come. Let's add in one more posture here by stretching the left leg long, bending the right knee right in. If this is flying up in the air, use a block underneath to support. If it'll come down, it will. Whatever. Left hand outside the left hip, right hand on the left knee, calf, ankle, maybe foot, wherever. Allows you to inhale and lift the heart, tuck in the chin. Breathing all the while. And now, left hand inside your left leg, towards the ankle or the foot. Right hand behind your back. Lift the right shoulder, chin towards your right shoulder. And breathe here. Lift that right shoulder. Open the body. Inhale, come to sitting tall. And now lengthen both hands out along your left lower leg. Release through the lower back, mid back, upper back, back forward is heavy. Folding inward and down. This is for you if your spine is healthy.
Inhale, lift up. Wonderful. Are you in joy? I am in joy. Right leg is long. <clears throat> Left knee bent, opening out there. Use the block if you need to. Like so, possibly only if you need to. Right hand outside right hip, fingers pointing towards the foot. Lively right leg. Left hand sweeping down, sweeping down along. You might stay at the knee, the calf, ankle or foot if it's comfortable. Wherever you are with the hand, lift the heart. Long spine, tuck in the chin. Steady in the posture. Steady body, steady mind. This is coming. Sukha, easeful practice. First principle of yoga, stira. Steady practice is the second principle of yoga. Wonderful, enjoy. To practice yoga is a celebration, a realization, a realization of opening, of freedom, of the miracle of being in the body is wonderful. Lift the heart, tuck in the chin, how good it feels. Right hand inside the right lower leg, towards the foot, left hand behind your back, lift that left shoulder. Chin, left shoulder, open the body out. All the while breathing, pronounce that out breath. I won't count it for you, you can do that yourself. Open up, inhale, come back forward. Both hands on your right lower leg. Again, inhale. And exhale, lengthen forward, spine long, heart lifted, chin tucked in, and then rolling forward as far as is comfortable. It's called Janus Tirshasana, forward to knee posture. Don't worry about that. Get that right leg long, reaching to the heel. 